Today we're gonna be unboxing Single Strike Urshifu VMAX League Battle Deck. Five battle styles, booster packs, one checkling pack, battle styles that has a Charmander promo card. So let's get right to it. Just in case you don't know who I am, my name is Romo here at Romo's Collector Lane where we like to collect video games and Pokemon. So let's get right into the boxing. And like how I said, I had the League Battle decks for the Single Strike Urshifu. The only reason why I bought this was because it was during the dry spell of Pokemon cards. And this was like the, one of the few things I um, saw. So I was like, eh, might as well. I never bought it. Might as well buy it and open it up. I got some five battle style booster packs and a checkling pack that has a Charmander promo card, which is going to be very cool. I actually got two of them, one for myself and then one for my older brother that I'm just going to hand off to him. All right. So I say we start with the Urshifu. Let's go ahead and open it up. See what it comes inside. There we go. It has Urshifu V and VMAX twice. Go ahead and pop that open. And it comes with a booklet, the little pamphlet saying what comes in battle styles. Or, never mind, how to upgrade your battle deck, how to use this battle deck. So that's pretty cool. Some dice and some status coins. And then there's the code card for you guys right there. Go ahead, move this. And again, like how I said before, the only reason why I even purchased this was because only had, this was the only thing that was popping up in my local area in terms of items that I would like to collect. But again, it's just a pre-built deck. So no players can use this pre-built deck so that they don't have to build their own in case they don't know how to. And even for level two players, as it said on the box right there, it was built for level two players. So there was a couple of cool rares in there that I have yet to get. Got boss's orders twice, Marnie three times, Stone Journer, Oranguru twice, Houndoom three times. And back in the crystal, uh, crystal days, back in Pokemon Crystal, I used to love playing with Houndoom, one of my favorite dog Pokemon. We had these promo cards, or not promo cards, these V cards out of there. And it's the same card, just twice. There we go. Single Strike Urshifu V, twice. And then Single Strike Urshifu V Max. Very nice card. I don't believe they're in that valuable either because of these pre-built decks. As I understand, Battle Styles didn't have too many cards that you'd actually want to collect in it. Let's move on to the bliss, um, booster packs, the individual booster packs that I have. All right, and now we have the five booster packs. So let's go ahead and open those up and see what kind of pulls we get. We'll save that code card until the end. And I did see just when I um, unpacked these cards that there's actually something at the end of this. But so that it doesn't spoil for you, I'm gonna save that promo card to the end. Tep pig, I actually collect the starters. All right, there's definitely something back there. So. A reverse holographic blip bug. All right, let's see what we got for our rare. Ooh, and a Flapple V. Now that's a beautiful card. When I played through Sword and Shield, or specifically Sword, I never got to play with Flapple and its evolution, but that's a beautiful card. Really, really awesome. I'm, I'm happy that they actually made another Dragon Grass type, though it's not that powerful. All right, so there's a code card for you guys right there. I don't have much time to record today and dogs in the neighborhood are barking like crazy all of a sudden when literally all day nobody was barking everyone was sleeping and then all of a sudden everyone decided to start barking right when I decided to press record ooh it's a green code card but let's see what we got for a rare cuz I know for green code cards before, I've been surprised with actually getting a VMAX or an alternate V. All right, see, let's see what this second pack brings out. And a reverse holographic rapid strike scroll swirls, which I definitely already have. 
let's see what we got for a rare and a licky tongue licky licky my bad <laughs> there's that cold card for you guys all right let's move on to that third pack see what we get and it's another green cold card save that to the end two three four All right, so dark energy. Ooh, a tip pick, a, pe a pig knight. More peco, Spiro, Silospeed. Fan of waves for reverse holographic. I, I don't have that one yet. And then a Galarian Slowpoke. There's that code card. Move on to this fourth pack. I think I just saw something in the back right there when I opened it up. Save that code card for the end. One, two, three, four. All right, and it is a white code card, so let's see what we got. Ooh, and a reverse holographic. Fomantis. I don't have that one yet. Let's see what you got for a rare. Ooh, and a holographic colossal. Colossal. Didn't get to play with him much during Sword and Shield. I just didn't, I felt like he wasn't powerful enough. All right, and now we're on the last pack of the booth individual booster packs. And I just wanted to bring you guys a video today, just because my brilliant stars video that one's still gonna have to be on on hold for a second but i do have as you can see right there that's the box that the brilliant stars etb po uh, pokemon center etbs came in and then my oh it's a green gold card but and then the, what was I gonna say, pre-release pre build and battle kits. They should be arriving on Monday. So we have something to look forward to. I like the buzz. And reverse holographic ro roly coly. And we just got the holographic of its evolution, final evolution. So let's see what we got for our rare. Even though it's a green cold card, let's see. And a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Didn't get to use him much in Sword and Shield either. So there we go, cold card. All right, and now we're on the last pack magic. Let's go with the blister pack of the Charmander Holographic Promo, which I do collect promo cards. I really enjoy promo cards. So if I ever see a, a, uh, a blister pack that has a promo card on there, that I don't have, I definitely do purchase it. Just for the sole purpose of getting that promo card at the very least. There's the card. There's the pack. The holographic Charmander. There's the code card for that Charmander. The intake coin. Which is actually pretty badass. Alright, final fast pack magic. Let's go. See what we get. Really, really hope it's a good score. Oh, it's a green code card again. All right, let's see what we got. This is a good actually unboxing because we just got every single uh, the entire evolution line in this unboxing for Embor. That's actually pretty cool. Well, that's our reverse art graphic. Let's see what we got for a rare and Mr. Rhyme again. Wow. So I just knocked over the camera right there. That was pretty funny. All right. So now let's just do a quick review of all the cards that we pulled today. 
Zepig, Pig Knight. Oh, just before that, the last pack. The last pack code card. So there we go. And again, the only reason why I purchased the battle deck for Urshifu was again, it was during a dry spell and well, I didn't have any other options. But I'm happy that I got to open it up at all. But I'm very excited that I'm going to be able to open up Brilliant Stars this coming, this coming week. But alright, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe what you liked from this unboxing, even though it was a relatively small one. And as always, see you guys next time.